Since their first contact with Canada in 1897, Sikh Canadians have engaged in all aspects of public life. And while many individuals have done remarkable things, I would single out a group of individuals, the Shore Committee for Special Recognition. As a bit of background, in 1914, a group of prospective immigrants on a chartered ship, the Komagata Maru, was denied entry to Canada. Confined to the ship in Vancouver Harbor for some two months, the hapless passengers, Hindu, Muslims, but mainly Sikhs, were subjected to severe restrictions of movement, of food and water, and denied access to legal aid. There was a small community of Sikh settlers in Vancouver, and they formed what came to be called the Shore Committee to assist the stranded passengers. Most members of the show committee were Sikhs, but also included members of the larger community of early Hindu and Muslim settlers. At a public meeting in Dominion Hall in Vancouver, the Shore Committee obtained, obtained pledges of an astonishing $100,000 from the fledgling community, and within 10 days collected $18,000 in cash towards assisting the stranded passengers in every way possible. I would note that this was $100,000 over 100 years ago, which I would hazard to guess would be in the millions today. Additionally, these early settlers were not wealthy people. They were mainly farmers and mill workers. Hence, for them to raise this kind of money to help others and that to help strangers that they did not even know was a feat of incredible generosity and goodwill. As its first action, the Shore Committee hired a Canadian lawyer to plead the case for the prospective immigrants aboard the vessel. The legal challenge, unfortunately, by the Shore Committee was unable to prevent the rejection of the Kamagata Maru. But most remarkable was the resolve of the small settler community to work within the framework of Canadian law and to legally test that law. In retrospect, the Shore Committee was the genesis of a sustained struggle for civil rights by its parent body, the Sikh Khalsa Diwan Society. They played a part, albeit a small part, in the changes that would make the kind of society we live in today. And for that, they are deserving of great recognition.